anointing us with the oil from heaven that will break every yoke and loose every chain. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, let your word go forth with clarity. May your people receive what you want to say to them this night. We commit ourselves to you. We bind the devil in the name of Jesus. We speak healing and breakthrough in this house tonight. Amen. We thank you, God, for all that you will do in our midst as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, the concept of faith is one of the most important concepts for a believer. While it is very important, it is also misunderstood. In our culture, we say that seeing is believing. But in the kingdom, you have to believe and then you will see. You see, God deals and functions in an invisible realm.
church is where it is because God has a purpose for the church. You are in the front. You probably didn't know this when you came here, but the Bronx is not an easy place. Oh, you know it now, though, don't you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Of the five boroughs in New York, the Bronx is one of the most difficult places for you to be. Of the five boroughs, the Bronx is one of the most challenging and troubled of all. God 
means that you will trust God. Amen. Fear is the opposite of faith. You see, when fear comes in, we begin to believe things that are really not there. So fear is perverted faith. To be fortified by faith has three things that I want to leave you with and I'm going to get out of your way. First of all, point number one is faith is voice activated. Can you say voice activated? Faith is voice activated, meaning that you have to speak to some situations. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. There are some things that you have to speak to by using your voice. We all agree that when God created the world, he could have just created it out of his mind. But he chose to say, let there be light. Because he was demonstrating to us the faculty of speech having power and consequences. Are you picking my English so hard? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What I'm saying to you is faith is voice activated. There is a story, there is a story in the New Testament book of Luke. And in the story, it's in Mark chapter 11. In Mark chapter 11, Jesus was with his disciples and the Bible says that they were going to go up to the temple that was called beautiful. On the way to the temple, the Bible says that Jesus walked up on a fig tree. Do you know this story?
voice activated. Secondly, 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 faith is action oriented. Faith is action oriented. Do you remember when Moses was walking up to the Red Sea and he had a mountain on one side and a mountain on the other and Pharaoh's army was chasing behind him? God asked Moses, what is that in your hand? Moses said it was a rod. God told Moses to stretch it forth and he stretched it forth. The Bible says, and the Red Sea parted. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. What am I saying in giving you this illustration? I'm trying to say to you that God did not stretch the rod for Moses. Moses had to stretch out the rod himself because faith is action oriented. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. Oh, I got the right crowd. Oh, yeah. 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 Faith without works is dead. There are some things that you have to do and you do your part and God will do his part. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now listen, do you remember when Jesus walked up on the tomb of Lazarus? Yes. The Bible says that Lazarus was dead for four days. And when Jesus walked up on the tomb, what he said to the crowd was, roll the stone away. You see, to roll the stone away was what they could do. But once they rolled the stone away, Jesus did what only God could do. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Yes. What I'm trying to illustrate for you tonight is not only is faith the voice activated, but faith is also action oriented. Yes. God is not going to do for you that which you should do for yourself. Mm -mm, I don't think you caught me.
My grandmother would never have access to go to the colleges and the universities that I went to. But I believe that she's looking over the banister of heaven. Hmm. I said, I believe she's looking over the banister of heaven. And she's seen her children and her grandchildren living the life that she would never realize in this country because fortified faith comes with rewards. And all of your rewards will not happen for you on the earth. Some of them are going to wait for you to get to heaven. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You see, by faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for. She was hoping for a future for us, although she couldn't see it in her own reality. Some people have prayed for you. Your own grandparents have prayed for you. And some of you are in this country right now because fortified faith comes with rewards. And we have reaped the benefits of what other people have asked God to do on our behalf. David said, I'm young and now I'm not old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You see, fortified faith, it comes with rewards. The Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. You see, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. How are we going to be a witness in this neighborhood, in this time, in this borough called the Bronx? I'm going to tell you how you're going to do it. You're going to do it by faith. You're going to place your faith, listen, above your reality. You're going to do it by faith. So faith, listen, faith is the, the, the strength of, of what we're able to achieve as a people. We have to trust God when we can't track him. We need to know that God is already into Friday. He already knows what next week looks like for us. And what we have to do is walk it out today as though this is our last day. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk that the just shall live by faith. Now, faith is only as good as the object or the person that you're trusting. Mm -hmm. uh, faith is only good as the person into whose hands you now stand. So who is it that we should trust? I'm glad that you asked. You should trust the one who is called the advocate. You should 